So the next pair of slides we're going to be doing is um, essentially what it looks like. It's it's the deluxes and the voyagers from these. And what it shows us is the long-awaited, overdue uh, return of the Dinobots. Um, up to this point, really in the Generations Classics kind of skew of things, it's really only been Grimlock. Um, and we've gotten, you know, Swoop and Slug, or Slag as he's supposed to be called, and Snarl mm -hmm. and Sludge. We've gotten them through other lines and other visual interpretations, whether it be in animated or the movie lines, right. or, or even in the past with Energon and stuff like that. But we've never really gotten our true classics version of these, and, and third party for the longest time has been filling that gap. Yep. And now these slides show us, oh hey, here comes Dinobots, and lo and behold, it's Everybody, you know, like no one is left. Throw out. your third, throw your third party in the trash. People, Hasbro came out with stuff. Well, um, <laughs> and there's there's a few other interesting things worth mentioning that are on these slides, but we'll, we'll, we'll touch them as we go along. So just with the deluxes first, I mean, we have Autobot Slug, uh, which is Slag. Um, again, too blurry to make out anything. Mm -hmm. um, same thing, we got a Dinobot, your Dinobot Swoop, uh, which is again awesome. Uh, we More just stuff have for Michael Bell to sign. Excuse me? <laughs> More stuff for Michael Bell to sign. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we have the two other, you know, the Dreadwind and, and the Jazz that we already knew about. Right. Um, for the next uh, wave of Deluxes, which are, you know, it says here, Wave 2, two um, yeah. we just have stand-in images of the characters, but we do know there's going to be a Dinobot Snarl and a Dinobot Sludge, uh, Sludge so that's great. Uh, it then shows... Um, what is supposed to be Darkwing, but what's interesting is they call him Blackwing here, mm. um, which I doubt is the name they're going to go with. <laughs> they're probably going to go with Darkwing, uh, unless they can't use it because of a Disney reason. I don't know. Yeah, probably it could be because he's supposed to be coming back with a show but on it, they, Disney DX. I always find it fascinating how they usually avoid using the word Black, so maybe they mm. might call him, you know, Shadowwing. I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, same thing how we had Sky Shadow with with Black Shadow. I don't know. We'll, we'll see where they go with that one. Uh, two other interesting things in this in this next wave is Ripper Snapper is there. He was one of the Horrorcons, um, and it looks like he's going to probably have some kind of unique mold. Again, it's hard to tell with these blurry images, mm -hmm. and it looks like an original mold for Moonracer, hopefully, who was one of Alita One's uh, cohorts. Ah. Um, so that's pretty cool that she, you know, one of the original female characters. Moving on to the Voyager slide, um, we have three waves that were shown here. Uh, we're showing our Grimlock, which is going to mm -hmm. be obviously the, the Voyager larger to go with the deluxe Dinobots. So mm -hmm. there's our leader of the Dinobots here. Um, again, not the first time we've had a, a Dinobot T-Rex Generations toy. We've had two up to this point in the classic right. scale. You know, one in the deluxe in the early waves of classics, and then one based off of the War for Cybertron stuff. But I guess this is more yet another take at that. Uh, we're showing that Starscream that we knew about again. Hunger mm -hmm. is here, again, the leader of the Horrorcons, so it's cool that it shows that we're probably going to be getting a Combiner Wars Horrorcons down the line mm -hmm. uh, to go with another Combiner team that we'll touch on later. Right. Um, we have an Alita one. This one is I'm not a big fan of because it's Alita one in a Voyager scale and she turns into a jet where Alita one, she turned into some kind of pickup truck or whatever, whatever and in all honesty, if they were going to go with that, I mean, in the next wave, we're shown Grimlock again, yeah. and we're shown a repaint of Hotspot from Combiner Wars as Inferno, which is one of those, like, you know, easy repaints, go like, oh, what do you do with Hotspot? He's a fire truck, you know? Paint him red, make him Inferno. Do you, do you see them doing... Okay, this is going to be another, you know, nerdy... Uh, reach across the aisle kind of thing. Do you see them taking the Inferno, that mold, and then painting it in green, painting it in yellow, <laughs> just it, to get the brothers in there from uh, Gal Gygar? You know what? I mean, we've had Gal Gygar kind of homages and stuff in the past with Transformers, mm -hmm. uh, but mostly through animated. I wouldn't uh, be right. surprised, but I mean, as it stands right now, like I, I wanted to like touch on where... I almost felt like they could have taken this Inferno, um, which is red, 
and give it some oranges and some some grays and you know new head sculpt to make that Alita one. You know, because like, uh. Alita Alita one was kind of like a pickup truck kind of truck thing going, and I understand that they want to give her a larger scale thing because she was the leader of the females in the G one cartoon, mm-hmm. but. I mean, I the jet isn't something that I associate with her, and and it's interesting because it looks like an F fifteen, I want to say, and it, but it also looks like it's like the jet on top, and then you kind of just slap uh, a scrunched in figure at the bottom. But I mean, these are rough pictures. I don't even know if these are yeah. Well, the that, end results, that that's another know? thing too. Is is the thing that in the case of hunger which is in the same wave of her they're just using some control art there and the original g1 toy i guess it is it's hard to tell so it's it's hard to to really figure out what they're trying to do here i mean i was worried for a second when i first saw that elite i was like oh my god is that that star screen mold again you know no <laughs> it's not though but the but because it, it's obviously it's not a, a leader class but i was just like oh my god i hope it's not that but it isn't but at the same like time, it looks like a um what was it a super hornet that's what i want to say yeah, it could be. Again, it's 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 hard to tell. I think we're gonna get stuff that's more clear down the line and everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, we we didn't we didn't really touch on this, but I get a feeling this is the stuff that was for Hascon. Mm-hmm. You know, like I, I get a feeling these were a lot of the Hascon reveals. Like so this was I, gonna be revealed some some other time, and now it's all ruined, kind of thing. Yeah. So I, I think that maybe when Hascon rolls around, the official images will then get out there, and we'll have clearer shots. But I mean, Alita One, like in the G One cartoon, she was. Um, she was a pickup truck of some kind. Uh, she was called. There was, there was a a uh, Bacon exclusive that was just a repaint of Chromia, also known as Thunder Blast, where she was a she was a boat. You know, oh, so okay. I guess there's. I guess they're just going like, well, this character never really had one tied down form throughout her lineage. You know, if right. you want to even count Movie Alita one, you know, she was a motorcycle. You right, know, so. but so was RC for a while. Yeah, but that's just it. Well, <laughs> RC, her her motorcycle lineage comes from Energon. Yeah, and then it kind of just stuck like permanently, but that's more so. And 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 in all, and then, and then we kind of went back to cars after animated. Yeah, too. yeah, it's you true. Know? well, animated so it's... was more just a a love fest for G one and and Darren mm-hmm. Wyatt just wanting to stay true to that. So, I mean, you you look at like after. You know, I don't want to go off on a tangent, but you look at like even after what the movies was doing, you know, my, Bumblebee was still a small vehicle in yeah. animated. You know, true. Instead of being what you know, but then again, there's he was like a hot thing. hatch, you know. Yeah, animated was what it was, and it was awesome. We missed yeah, it dearly. So the, these two, these two slides, uh, Dinobots Ahoy, and some some interesting stuff for the future. Uh, anything else you want to touch on with these? I'm. Trying to understand if you know if this is accurate. Why are they re- why are they releasing Grimlock in two waves? Maybe because they know people like T Rexes. They know that Grimlock has that big of a fan base. Or is there going to be a little bit of retooling? Is it going to be a recolor? Part of me feels that this might be um, just us not like because it's it's existed in the past where a, a future wave would have a re release of an item. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but I don't know why they would show that here to, let's say, someone in the public. Like, they would want to show these slides, if they were showing it to us in a panel room, they want to show us new product. They don't want to show us case assortments. You know what right. I mean? Right. Because so, well, my, my thinking was that, you know, here's another prediction. Maybe the first one is normal colors, and then the later one is, like, chrome. Or, or G2. Or, hmm. or, some, or some separate character completely that's also a dinosaur. You know, that's yeah, a possibility yeah. too. I don't know. It, it's mm. it, it's we're gonna actually encounter this same problem when we get to the next part of our. <laughs>